Antoni Gaudí carried out most of his work in the city of Barcelona. The Catalan industrial magnet, Eusebi Güell, was the architect's main promoter, admirer and friend, and basically his patron. He commissioned the construction of the Güell Park as a city garden development in the style of the period. Gaudí built different private residences. This country house, known as Torre de Belesguard, was constructed over the ruins of the palace of the last king of Aragon. A brick and tile magnet commissioned this building with its appearance of a medieval castle. Here, Gaudí combined Spanish architectural tradition with ancient Arabic art. Among Mudeja constructions, we find the magnificent forged metal dragon, guardian of the entrance to the Guell estate. In this work, we discover Gaudi's sensitivity for ironwork and modernist shapes. On this building, the architect's unique style combines naturalist concepts with the winding shapes of a sandy beach bathed by the sea. From the start of its construction, it attracted the attention of the Barcelona locals, who quickly named the building La Pedrera. The industrial magnate, Josep Batlló, had a house on this site and asked Gaudí to renovate it. He created a world of fantasy on the different levels of the building, which breaks with tradition and is carried away on dreams and visions, forming a construction full of the sinuosity of a living organism. The Cathedral of the Sagrada Familia is Gaudí's masterpiece. He was commissioned to direct the work in 1883, at the age of 31, and continued without finishing it until his death in 1926. With this work, Gaudi entered into the tradition of the major medieval cathedrals. Gaudi's project was not just a church. It is a book in stone, full of symbolic elements and references. The aisles have an ethereal appearance. The forests of columns seem to be supporting no weight. With this construction, Gaudí bequeathed Barcelona with his greatest legacy.